Okay, we need to talk about Romeo and Juliet, in particular the balcony scene from Romeo and Juliet. Context. Romeo and Juliet come from two families that hate each other's guts. Romeo comes from the Montagues, Juliet from the Capulets. They meet very briefly at a Capulet family ball and decide they're madly in love with one another. Then Romeo sneaks into Juliet's backyard and listens to her talking to herself about him. Not creepy at all. Here's Juliet's balcony speech, in the way that most people tend to act it out. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name, or... If thou wilt not, be but sworn my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. That interpretation is wrong. Beautiful, but wrong. Most people, including a lot of actors and directors, let the beautiful idea of true love and the poetic language of this passage just wash over them and ignore what Juliet is actually saying. To give up their family, their heritage, their name is a pretty drastic thing to ask of anyone. When Juliet asks this of Romeo, she's not imagining him as anything other than someone who loves her. She goes on, "'Tis but thy name that is my enemy. Thou art thyself, though not a Montague. What's Montague? It is nor hand, nor foot, nor arm, nor face, nor any other part belonging to a man." Juliet's conception of Romeo's identity goes no deeper than his name and his parts. There's no account in there of what he believes in, what he values. Romeo might care very deeply about his name and his family, or he might not, but Juliet doesn't know that. She doesn't know him at all. In fact, neither of the two lovers have taken time to imagine each other complexly. They've only met once. During their brief meeting at the ball, Romeo literally idolizes Juliet, calling her a saint and a holy shrine. And Juliet eggs him on. She calls him a pilgrim and asks him to worship her with his lips. They kiss, and Juliet tells Romeo, you kiss by the book. Incidentally, I've had teachers try to tell me that that's an insult, like, ha ha, you learned how to kiss out of a textbook. But Juliet is 13 years old. Probably all she knows about kissing lovers is what she's read in books. But anyway, that's all that happens between them before Juliet is whisked away by her nurse. I get that Romeo and Juliet are into one another, and I don't doubt that they want to get to know each other better, and that their feuding families are preventing them from doing that. Plus, Juliet's family keeps trying to marry her off. Again, though, Juliet is 13 years old. She doesn't yet have the freedom or the know-how to work around her crappy family situation. She doesn't have much experience with how crushes work how long they last, whether or not they change. And she doesn't realize how much time, work, and empathy it takes to really get to know someone you love. To play this scene calmly, as if Juliet has made a mature decision to follow the indisputable love of her life, is kind of unrealistic. Here's how I would do the speech. Oh, Romeo. Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Deny thy father, and refuse thy name, or if thou wilt not, be but sworn, my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. You lose a little of the beauty of that writing, but you gain a better sense of the frustration, the longing, the desperate plots you hatch when you're young and you want something or someone who, for whatever reason, you can't have. And that, I think, is a lot more relatable. And that was Video Every Day in April. I've been Char, and I'll see you all again very soon.